YouTube, what is going on? We are back with another Withering Waves video. And today I wanted to go over the echoes in the game. I've been putting a bunch of hours, a bunch of time, and I've been getting a bunch of questions, how the echo systems work. What's the data bank? How do you get echoes? How do you find them? And so I really just wanted to go over everything. Sidebar, the game is amazing. I love it. I think it's top tier. The echo system, really not that complicated. And genuinely, I really believe that it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to understand. Once you get the grasp of it, you understand the language and like what each substat means and wh where to find the echo echoes we're gonna go over the data bank and whatnot but so let's break this down in total you're allowed to have five echoes per character and i'm gonna move myself for a moment and now as you can see on the left side you then have the echo skill so it tells you what this does so crownless transforms into crownless which is a boss endlessly assaults enemies dealing havoc damage increases current characters havoc damage and resonance skill damage so this is what it looks like which by the way it's insane it's stupid i love that crownless is top tier but so that's what this one does so it gives you the basic of what the actual echo does and then underneath it is where you have the sonata effect the sonata effect is their set bonuses for the genshin impact players so right now i really only have three havoc echoes equipped i don't have five yet so you only see the two piece set which is gives more havoc damage when you click it over here you'll see what the rest of the sonata effect does it says sun sinking eclipse upon on the basic attack or heavy attack havoc damage increases for someone like donjon it's amazing because donjon is havoc now rule of thumb as of right now what i would recommend uh don't you don't have to go too crazy with it because again it is the beginning of the game the game literally just came out but you should try to be matching your echoes with your character's elements so for example i got dowdy calcaro uh, i kind of threw on random stuff with him because i want this echo on field for me so if you see the echo it gives you the transform i'm using a fusion echo for the main but i'm still getting the two piece set bonus for the electro damage so realistically you just want to try to get these damage bonuses to match with the element of the character which you find in the top left right here it's not the end of the world if you can't again the game just came out but that's pretty much how these works now the cost system is pretty simple self-explanatory we'll dive into a little bit now right now depending on my data bank which we'll go into a moment i only am able to have a cost up to 10 echoes so i have my main one which is four three and one from what i have noticed as of now the echoes that cost more are the ones that do more damage it doesn't seem to be based on the rarity type for example this echo right here i just killed this boss it's a blue echo it still cost four but then this legendary echo cost three so the rarity doesn't seem to be really affecting the cost it's mainly the type of damage or skill that it'll do some echoes only heal this one says summon a glacial prism that deals glacial damage with crystal shards i assume this echo is not going to be on the same level as a crownless echo so that's why the cost is from one to four the damage output potential with crownless is much higher therefore it's ranking at number four right now if i were to try to equip in this other slot let's just say i want to clip another echo that is four so i'll try this one so we'll click this and equip you need more cause to equip this echo the cost limit can be increased check your data bank for details that's where you go to the data bank as of right now i can only have up to 10 and it shows here that would equal out to 12 in red don't do that now another main thing with the echoes is actually leveling them now this crownless if i click to upgrade you can see it says upgrade to plus 15 to tune what does that mean so when you roll an echo they're only going to have their two main stats the crit damage and the attack or whatever it is so if i look at a level zero echo it has hp and base attack now for science purposes let's do this it's okay i don't mind we're gonna do auto select we're gonna level this echo up to 15. now when i level this echo up to 15 it says this to be tuned i got a ring to it to be tuned to be tuned once you click this you go to a tuner section now I will do this for science because I love you and I'm wasting materials for you. What happens is this, when I click tuning, I'm going to tune one time. It then reveals the stat that you're going to get. So it is completely random as well as the stat you're going to get. In this situation, resonance skill damage increased by 8.6 is massive, very good. So unlike a lot of games like Genshin, when you level this to 50, it does not give you all your substats. You actually have to tune in order to get these substats. And now this does cost resin to get some of these tuning materials. Although once you play the game and go to the story and whatnot, you're going to get some tuning items as well. I believe they gave away free rewards. So, you know, as you can see here, I already have 110 and I haven't used resin on it yet. So, but that is a massive part of the artifact system that I think people should be aware of. Just because you get this to 50 does not mean you will be getting these two other substats. Now, again, and shout out to the homie Darcy. Their video will be linked in the description. Go check this out. They made this really sick graphic. With the uh, echoes, there are max levels. So you can get a max level of 10 for two stars, 15 with three stars, 20 for four stars, and five with five stars. And the highest level, five stars, they get five substats, four stars get four substats, etc. Now, the other massive thing is the cost of the echo 
actually determines what type of subsets you can get on that echo so for example again referencing the homie darcy's video right here because they made an amazing graphic that it just it looks it's plain and simple cost one can only get attack defense hp cost three can only get attack defense hp elemental damage energy regen and cost four this is where you really want them crit rate crit damage that's what we're looking for and then it also gives healing bonus as well if you had varina or whatnot so let's go to the data bank the data bank is very important and i think everyone should get a quick understanding of it just so that way you're not lost here's how this works. i actually just loved up my data bank thank you good looks i'm gonna get these rewards what happens is everyone starts with one or starts with zero so it shows you i'm going to swing myself over to the other side again so here it says data bank info the base drop rate is going to be six percent you start off on zero the enhanced drop rate is 20 percent, and your highest drop rarity is two star echo so as you level up in your data bank you're going to see that your, your base drop rate is going to increase as well as your cost limit so from zero to one it's still eight once you hit two then your cost limit becomes 10 and so as you go up now your enhanced drop rate is going higher as well so instead of it being 20 on level two it goes to level 40 but here's where it gets different once you hit level five now your highest drop rarity you have a 30 percent chance to get a three star echo so when you're roaming the world and kind of fighting things in the beginning of the game you are not going to just get a random legendary yellow five star echo off bat you have to level your data bank with each level you get more so for example it says you are now going to get 50 percent three stars and 50 percent two stars as opposed to the previous one it was a 30 70 split so and then as the higher you go up the more your higher chance you get to the three star 80 20 split and then now once you reach level eight which is what i just hit you are now going to get a 30 70 split for four stars so i believe once you hit rank nine your cost limit goes up to 12 which is nice so that way you can equip echoes with more cost they then you don't start to get five stars until 15 i believe yep so cost 15 uh you would then get a 30 percent chance to get a five star and a 70 percent chance to get the four stars uh, the cost limit max is going to stay 12 it's going to max stay 12 and what happens at the end once you hit level um 16 it's still 30 once you hit 17 it goes to 50 18 is still 15 then an 80 20 split at 19 and 20. so how do you level the data bank it is simple you just have to collect an echo all you need to do is go out in the go out in the wild and fight something collect an echo so i'm going to actually show you that in a moment the other great part about the data bank it brings down your actual echo collection progress which is kind of cute if you wanted to go over it uh to me this isn't really anything crazy it's just it's just showing the it's just showing that but the main portion that i think people should be looking at here is the sonata gallery so the sonata gallery has all elements listed and it has all of the echoes that you all the echoes possible but also the echoes that you have found so for example looking at the freezing frost i have found 10 echoes out of 11 that are gone so if i click this this ex exocrat which i haven't found yet and i click detect it is now going to bring me to that echo area and then i can it brings it up on the map and i can farm it same way it does in genshin very very similar the data bank is going to be a big spot and where you can find all the information on your echoes let's say you need i i'm i'm maining dungeon i need let's see what this echo is i want to click this it tells me what this is now as you can see this echo can fall under different elements so it can be working for this element but it also work for this freezing frost section so this is where you're going to go to if you want to find out what you want to focus and bam the sh the the part about it that's not the best is using this example this example of the x karat uh it can go havoc or it can go glacio it's rng so but at least this helps you kind of narrow down and be like okay i want to find an echo where is it what what should i be looking for here and it tells you the five piece set uh, and the two piece set bonuses for all of them and it just kind of streamlines streamlines it for you a lot now let's go beat up something random let's go beat up a stoplight so i want a stoplight to drop with spectro damage let's go over here we'll go beat its ass real quick there is a chance it will not drop with spectro damage it's just how the game works it is rng based when fighting echoes in the wild it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the drop you could potentially fight the same echo a hundred times and only get two echoes or you can get really 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 lucky and fight the echo 10 times and get 10 drops it's completely random and eventually once you fight them uh, and beat them enough you beat a certain amount of enemies they will pretty much go away from your data bank aka the adventures handbook so let's go fight this stoplight real quick you know what here sidebar there's gonna be the stoplight and then there's gonna be this homie we'll fight these two real quick Target so this is one of those boss echoes that is gonna cost three to four that just does more damage than let's say a stoplight right i mean look at this homie he's a unit guide my blade so swing. Shield down. Down to heavy attack. Target swap. Yup. 
All is fair in war. And then that's his echo that I have on the fusion. It does pretty decent damage, and it's just sick. You know, so that's why I like that one. Again, it doesn't match the element, but that's okay. Oh, so we that echo just dropped. Okay, let's beat up the stoplight for it, and let's see. So let's see. Is it, what uh, element is that going to drop? We're going to check the data bank in two seconds. Nothing with the stoplight. Nothing with the stoplight, but I find a random gigantic boss in the middle of nowhere. So we see this. This is a perfect example. This boss that we just killed can drop in Glacio. I've found it in Arrow. So let's see which one we're going to get. We don't know. What I'd prefer, I'd prefer Arrow, but um, okay. What did I get? Details. And this dropped as a Glacio. Arrow, it dropped as Glacio with average damage bonus. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like it. It's random. It's random. Uh, that's that's the part about RNG that is unfortunately not good. It, it can really kind of suck. But I mean, that that's what comes with, I guess, not having to use resin to get echoes. You know what I mean? Now, the bosses, you can farm infinitely. Uh, I have farmed Crownless a hundred times. Uh, if you wanted to fight Infernal Rider, you can fight Infernal Rider a million times. I think you have to wait two or three minutes for them to respawn. But you consistently can farm to get those echoes. Uh, that is not a problem. So that's something I would recommend doing. Now, in the data bank as well. Now, I have personally not tested this yet. But you are able to um, select echoes and merge them into something different so actually here let's do it right now we're gonna put these four echoes together and then now we'll do a data merge and let's see for science it created a four star echo a four star electro damage bonus with arrow on the main stat and it has attack so you can you can use it five echoes you throw five echoes in there you cook them up and bam if you run out of all of the echoes in your world to farm and you have no friends like me because i have no friends there is something called tacit fields that you actually are able to farm with resin and you get a certain group of echoes from this activity it does cost 60 wave plate which is the resin but you are guaranteed of getting certain echoes when you consume this so again if you run out of things to farm and kill and you don't want to farm bosses that are most likely going to be higher levels you want to farm something a little bit on the lower end and you want you don't have someone's world to join you can use tacit field i think this should be a last resort but it's still an option